Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Dical which is a radio-opaque calcium hydroxide liner and I am using this from Densply Serona. Dical is a two-component, rigid-setting, self-curing material designed for use in direct and indirect pulp capping and as a protective liner under dental adhesives, varnishes, filling materials, cements and other base material. It will not inhibit the polymerization of acrylic and composite restoration. Dical comes with two tubes, one is of base and another is catalyst and a parchment paper pad. Let's talk about composition of Dical base paste. It is composed of disalicylate ester of 1,3-butylene glycol, calcium phosphate, calcium tungstate, zinc oxide and iron oxide. And the catalyst paste is usually composed of calcium hydroxide, ethyl toluene sulfonamide, zinc stearate, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide and iron oxide. Parchment paper pad is generally used and if you see the property of this paper, it is a non-stick paper. If you put any liquid, it will not stick to next paper. So anything within the paper will not get incorporated into the cement to fluctuate its property. Let's talk about how to use it. For direct pulp capping, under a rubber dam isolation, complete the cavity preparation outline using high speed burr under constant water cooling. If caries is present, completely excavate using low speed or hand instrumentation. Gently dry the preparation with cotton pellet. Dispense equal volume of base and catalyst paste on the parchment paper pad. The solubility and essentially basic nature of dical liner composition requires that it be used only in situation where it can be protected adequately from the internal environment. After the dical liner has completely set, cover with cavity varnish, dentin adhesive or restorative material. For application, use a ball-pointed dical liner applicator or similar instrument. Avoid use of excessively small pluggers or high packing pressure which might cause fracture of the material and let it crumble. Selection of the instrument can be done based on the size of the cavity to be applied. Now stir immediately to mix thoroughly until a uniform color is achieved. Do not over spatulate, complete mixing within 10 seconds. Note that do not attempt to control the setting time by increasing or decreasing the amount of catalyst dispensed. Then place the mix directly on the exposed pulp and cavity dentin just to be less than 1 mm remaining thickness in the thin layer. Avoid placing dical liner on enamel or margins of the cavity. Avoid placing large bulk of the material. Material thickness should be approximately 0.8 mm to 1 mm. Allow the dical liner to completely set. The mixed material will set in approximately 2 to 3 minutes on the mixing pad under normal room condition and setting time is shorter in the mouth due to moisture and temperature. Now this parchment paper is one time use. You can just tear it off and dispose it. Now you can see there are no material sticking onto next paper so it is very helpful while mixing any kind of cements. Then remove any set excess from retention areas, enamel or margin with sharp spoon excavator or burrs. Place desired adhesive base or restoration following the direction. At the next appointment, assess the pulp vitality. Pulp vitality and status should be assessed radiographically every 3 to 6 months or as needed after placing dical. Okay then, in next video we will be talking about the major difference between dical and pure calcium hydroxide powder. Okay, see you all. Bye bye.